Hello and welcome back to our KSP career and in today's episode we will be designing and building and testing a ScanSat satellite that will be performing high resolution visual ScanSat survey of Kerbin, lower resolution altimetry survey of Kerbin and a multi-spectral scan set survey of Kerbin. So it will be fulfilling a triple function because all of those can be done from altitudes between 70 and 250 for the optimal resource. So let's go into the first research and development because I do want to unlock some tech nodes. We have a 689 science after all. So advanced electrics, I'm gonna take that one for sure because it gives me a foldable solar panels high power electrics i'm not sure about those i think i have others that uh, take precedence for example like advanced fuel systems for bigger tanks because we after all we do have heavy rocketry that would be utilizing this aerodynamics for its shell or or high power electrics i'm here a little bit stumped if we should use this or not I think I'm actually not gonna use it right now, but this will be my next one to unlock. So, um, let's check advanced fuel systems. I'm gonna take those, yes. That leaves us with 300 science, and I think these 300 could be used for maybe high heat management or advanced landing. That would gonna be very useful because I'm gonna need those landing legs, ladies and gentlemen. And then I could use the, am I gonna use the actuators? Um, not sure, I'm just trying to see if there's anything I could use. Aerodynamics, I can actually take that because I want to have be designing planes soon enough. And miniaturization, oh, I'm gonna take that one as well because it will give me some experiments. Okay, and also I have introduced the modular launch pad, so I want to be unlocking as many of those as possible. And soon, guys, we might expect some cooler looking launch pads. Right, that gives us a whopping 13 upgrades points that I'm gonna be cramming towards the VAB, a little bit towards the R&D and whatnot. So. Uh, actually nine. I could actually cram those to a little bit higher our science output and also contribute a little bit more of research. Also I want to up the space plane and uh, rate three I might also introduce because slowly but surely it will make sure that our rockets are beginning being built and that's something that's kind of important. I mean the build rate for the first one is very important but for the second and third it would be also kind of cool to have. Right, okay, so we have three contracts. Let's get into building the craft that will be fulfilling those contracts. Uh, but first, we actually need to make sure that the science advancements that we have clocked happen. So, yeah. All right. Now, let's get into the VAB, and I'm gonna, as always, have it accelerated for your convenience. So, we're gonna go with this probe core, which I think it's the Tundra core. On top of it, we're gonna be placing an adapter and a fairing. So, let's see, I'm just trying to find, yeah, okay, the control module, then I'm gonna be putting the rideshare adapter. Oh, it doesn't look good with this rideshare adapter. Uh, right, all right, let's do some black magic, actually. And on top of this adapter, I'm going to be placing a stage separator for the 0 point, I think, 6 or 1.2. Okay, then well, let's put the engine. I'm going to put the 1.2 engine, the Terrier one. And I'm just building outwards from there a couple of batteries. Because ScanSet, we all know it's power hungry. And I actually want to use some other solar panels. Look at those. Those will be cool. Yeah, I want to use these ones. So... Uh, of course, we want the SAS unit, then we want a probe core, and on top of that probe core, wait, actually, wait for it, yes, adapter, and then probe core, I think this will be mighty cool, so let's just put the probe core beneath it, and then the put this on top, right, then I want to be attaching this bad boy, and the communitron on top, put some antennas beside, and then multispectral scanner, altimetry sensor, and then I need the visual observation. Oh, actually I can put it on top, hold on. 
like this. Let's move this uh, antenna here, and there we go. All three scan set experiment experiments on one single craft. Whether or not I will be able to run all three of them simultaneously, I have absolutely no idea. However, I need some sort of a, a, a high gain antenna, but I'm looking for a good enough relay because I want to be using a relay that could be oh, bonkers. No, tell you what. Nope, this one is not gonna work. I'm gonna rather make a dedicated relay later on. So, scan set Kerbin Mark 1, there we go. All right, so that's our payload. Let's just quickly correct it and then let us be making sure that we build the rest of the vehicle. Beautiful. By the way, I'm just gonna put action groups, first the antenna, second the solar panels, and then we have all the other scan sets that we're supposed to have, good. Now, launch vehicle. First, we want to use fairings. Do we have some other fairings than this? Well, I can always put this one. Looks good. It's the Bagora standard fairing, which is, the, of course, basic. Then we have this one, and I actually want to offset it a little because it doesn't look that cool. I mean, I don't know why, but still look, look at it. Yeah, we need to correct this. So I'm just gonna be correcting this a little bit and let's me just, oh, uh, fence, yes, please. Then let's be, let's place the electrical. I'm thinking if I can put the batteries in so that they have their own power. And actually guys, this will be the first time that I intend to actually try and recover the booster. So that means that hopefully we can actually recover this bad boy. And let me just put this. I want to be placing the landing legs as well. I'm gonna be placing the medium landing gear because look at it. Right, there we go. Spring strength, damper strength, all right. Looks good enough to me. Now let's place a launcher platform, which we have lovingly uncovered. Look at it go, ah, it's beautiful. It's Bagora. I'm actually thinking Kidora maybe? No, that's the bigger one. Oh boy. Nope. Hmm, <clears throat> then maybe this one? Nope. Yeah, this one seems like a correct one to use. I'm worried about a little bit about the clipping, but um, yeah, hopefully it will work. All right. So, let's give it a good old simulation, shall we? Three, two, one, ignition, and it looks that like it's going perfectly. I mean, it did flinch a little bit, but it's nothing really major, so... By the way, since I'm actually testing new components, um, it will be a little bit of duplication, because this is simulation. I want to run the full simulation just to see that it goes correctly, that it reaches its orbit correctly, and then everything is going fine. And then we'll be coming to the actual launch, so, you know. Sorry a little bit for repetition there, but hopefully everything will be fine. So, the rocket is running straight and true, no problems whatsoever, apart from that little launch glitch on the launch pad. And I think that was due to the fin, you know, hitting probably the launch platform or something, because, you know, actual Falcon 9 does not have these grid fins. Sorry, not grid fins, the actual, you know, fins fins. Now... The satellite will be going into a polar orbit of around 200 kilometers. I will not test it, you know, very detailed, but I want to be checking and making sure that this will actually, you know, circularize and land and everything. And the reason why I'm testing this is because I also want to test the recovery of the booster stage. So that's another thing that we need to take into consideration for sure. All right, so <clears throat> with that thing being said, uh, we are approaching nine seconds to the actual, you know, orbital insertion. Getting ready to fire up that Bagora booster. There we go. All right. Normally I would perform a boost back, but this is actually not going to be. We're going to go up to orbital velocity, so as you can tell, we have a couple of seconds, and this is actually, so let's decouple the satellite, and then switch to the satellite, make sure that we do circularize, and then open up the 
antenna, the solar panels, and then we just boost it ever so slightly till we get to at least orbital and then switch to the booster. Right, we will fix the inclination and everything of the satellite later on. So right now what we want to be making sure is that we can recover the booster. The booster has a ungodly amount of parachutes and grid fins because, well, sorry, not grid fins. Yeah, I'm too much set into, you know, you know SpaceX mode. This is actually, uh, you know, winglets. Yes, correct. Wrong works. Sorry. So this is the idea. Performing not a boost back, but sort of a deorbit burn to make sure that we eventually land somewhere. So... Not to be too, you know, dilly-dally about it, let's just quickly go and make sure that this thing gets out of orbit and lands somewhere. In this stage we have another 5 seconds of burn time, accounting for a whopping 593 meters per second. Oh, and by the way guys, uh, this is actually, I think, the last episode that's gonna be in 21 by 9 ultra wide. Uh, a lot of you, or at least a you know, a vocal lot of you have said that basically, you know, it's the texts are too small, the fonts are too small, and it just doesn't uh, look as good, so you cannot really follow all the details, and I mean, your input is as always a very important to me, so I'm actually have decided, roll back to the good old 1080p, and hopefully you will enjoy and appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below, however, Starting next uh, next episode, at least for the next five or so, there will be a 1080p. If you change your mind, you'll get a chance to say it. Anyway, performing a boost back because, oh, yes, parachute, and there we go. The booster has landed, beautiful. So, a minor correction that needs to be done is actually that I need to order the damn thing. Damn thing. So, so far it performed as it should and I'm overall happy with it, meaning I have decided to order it. And with that thing being said, I think it's time we wrap it up for the today's episode. Guys, as always, you know what to do. If you like what you're seeing today, please hit that uh, like button. I mean, it helps me out a great deal. And also make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode that will be coming out. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.